How's it going guys? Welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. And we are headed to the Vietnam Grand Prix. Let's run down everything that I have done here before we go there. So on the activities, we have a few events uh, going on. We have to attend an F1 Esports event, which will raise our driver acclaim by 100 points. We have a power equipment upgrade coming in. Uh, so 5% morale on the power powertrain uh, department and 30 resource points for that. And then aero team building, 5% uh, morale for the aero side with $5,000 going down in the uh, cash. And then we also have a chassis upgrade coming in on the 28th and that is in the chassis uh, facility and what is going on here is we have uh, purchased for two million dollars the build time improved build time of all upgrades to tw uh, by 20 percent so if we upgrade something in the chassis it's just 20 percent quicker that it gets here so that's something that's pretty important and uh when we get two more million we get actually three seven hundred thousand dollars we will put more money into this area as well to help grow that in the r d side of things we can't really do much durability chassis and aerodynamics are still all coming in they have not come in yet so we can go to the powertrain but i actually i don't i don't really want to go in here yet because you can see we're not that bad in terms of the power department i want to focus on the chassis the arrow and the durability for now so i'm going to save some of the resource points so i can continue upgrading these three areas and of course power is important but uh, right now, I mean, if you look at the rest of the area, we we are not very good in aero, we are not very good in chassis, and we are horrible in durability. So just focusing on different areas, to be honest, really. So uh, we're going to save some of the resource points there. And then if we go to the vehicle, everything is still good right now in terms of all of our electronics, turbocharger, energy store, our MGU and, and ICU, they're all pretty good. Gearboxes are good. Uh, and we go to the corporate side of things. Everything's good over here. Nothing different. Standings wise, we have Ferrari at top with Leclerc and Vettel 1 2 with Botas in third. Botas did win the first race, but then Mercedes scored literally no points in the second race at all. And uh, Lewis Hamilton has had a terrible start to the season. He is seventh with only 12 points. We are tied with Haas and Williams with absolutely no points. AlphaTauri did get one point. So we're ninth in the constructor standings. And in the driver standings, obviously, we have no points. So still, it's the one AlphaTauri with Hendrick, Haas, and Williams not scoring any points. So with all that out of the way, let's go to the Vietnam Grand Prix. We'll head to qualifying and see how we perform. Uh, it's going to be interesting, and we'll see what goes on. All right, don't have a lot of time left in the session. We've done two runs. We're P19 at the moment. Let me get my final set of tires on the car. Before we head to the leaderboard, Leclerc, Hamilton, Vettel, top three. We are in, like I said, P19, one spot ahead of our teammate. Uh, we are four tenths behind the Alfa Romeo of Giovinazzi. I don't think we're going to be able to get that, but we will try. Let's see what happens. Three tons faster. I don't think that gets up gets us up anywhere. We remain P19 even though it was a faster lap, so uh, we will take it. We're three tons off of Magnuson. I can't be disappointed with it. That's kind of where we are as a team, so we will take it and move on. The Formula One circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. A lap of Hanoi Circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Can we begin by having a chat about Charles Leclerc? As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away. Indeed, they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. Everyone has to deal with penalties or reliability issues from time to time throughout their career. You just have to suck up the pain and get on with the job at hand. Today isn't about performing a miracle to put the car back where it should be. It's about effective damage limitation. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Albon, 
Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, and Ricardo, Norris, Stroll, Ocon, and Carlos Sainz, Leclerc, Fiat, Sergio Perez, and Grosjean, Gasly, Raikkonen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Kevin Magnussen, Oldtimer, Schumacher, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. And now it's time to head down to the track. If you guys hear grass cutting in the background, I apologize. Um, there's some grass cutting going on. So if you hear that in the background, sorry. If not, then hey, awesome. Uh, this is our strategy. We're going the medium softs. Uh, that is what we've been working on sun all the way through. And uh, we should be pitting on lap eight and uh, getting the soft tires. Hopefully next race I could do a 50% race. That's what I want to do. I just haven't had the time to do it. Uh, obviously, you guys see I'm uploading a lot, so I don't really have the time to, to do a 50% race. But hopefully, I'm hoping for the next race I could do 50%. So that's what I want to do. So uh, let's go. Let's get this done. Right, we want to get to the inside for turn one as quickly as possible. Five red lights. And we are off. Whoa, there goes Mick Schumacher. That's a good start from him. Let's get to the inside. Beautiful. That's what I was planning to do. Nice and easy. You got yellow flag somewhere. Side by side with the racing point of Sergio Perez. Oh, a little bit sideways. All right, let's just take it easy. We're in a really good spot here, so nice and easy. Oh, boy. Trying to get in traction here. And now we're side by side with what the Alphatari? That is the Alphatari. Trying to put in a rick. We're going to fight Gasly on the outside. Nope, he's going to try to cut me off. That was close. Holy crap. I'm going to be able to clear him. Let's keep going. Let's get after these racing points before the long straightaway. There we go. And, oh, well, we still have company with the Alphatars. And he's going to be, yeah, guys is going to be able to get us here. So, actually, let's just let him go. Let's get in the slipstream. Try to make a move down into the hairpin. One going to my inside. Gasly's blocking. Oh, my God. That was terrible. That is one of the worst moves you will ever see. I should get penalized for that. I absolutely... I'm pretty sure it was... I don't know exactly which Alphatari it was. I think it was Kvyat, maybe, that I just absolutely turned into and destroyed. That is... That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, my God. I should be penalized. I, I got a warning for that. I should be penalized. That's horrible. And now we have an angry pack of cars. Here comes Sergio Perez. All these guys are faster. He's going to go to the outside. We're going to block that off. Let's continue on. Put in a standard real quick. It's going to be the same thing as Bahrain. We're going to have to do the parking tactic until we can get some speed in this car. That's pretty much what we're going to do almost every race, except Monaco. Uh, in Monaco, we, you get parked no matter what. And uh, they don't have DRS yet, but they're still going to have more straightaway speed. We have a balance set up on. So, actually, it looks like Giovinazzi is getting the run there. Yeah, he is. All right, we're going to be fine here. They're not going to be able to get a run, so we're going to go back in a standard. Let's go into for... Actually, he's on the inside. Nope, there we go. We can stay clear. P12, beautiful right now. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Someone has come off ahead of us. I don't know who it is. I haven't seen... Oh, there's the Brie right there. Oh, that is Ricardo. Let's get around him. Okay, the Try to keep going here. Let's get back up to racing speed. I'm completely out of rhythm through the S's. Ricardo's now out of the race. We're up to P11, one spot away from the points. Oh, baby. That's why I love turn one with uh, heavy braking points on this game. Because you can make up a lot of time there. You know, we're actually getting a pretty good run. Uh, right on the that little looping left-hander before the super long straightaway. And that, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> When you get DRS down this straightaway, there's no stopping that. Oh my god. Yeah, there. I can't do anything about that. Now we have to fight Giovinazzi. And I think we got him. All right, let's go back into standard. It's, I'm not going to be able to hold anyone off that uh, down that back straightaway, so I think we're going to be falling back here pretty much at least one spot every lap. Oh, and my engine's looking worn. Okay, I'll take a look at that right after this rhythm section here. Try to get through here, through here smoothly for the first time this entire race. Alright, and we did so. Let's try to take a look at what's going on here. It's the ICE. Internal combustion engine is wearing down. So, at a track with that long of a straightaway, um, probably not the best time for that to be wearing out. Got blocked Giovinazzi. He goes to the outside. 
We're gonna fight that. Actually, nope, I can't. He pulls through. I'm gonna try to get him back. A little bit of contact. Oh, side by side racing. All right, he gets through. I'm pretty sure we have DRS though. Come on, tell me we have DRS. Tell me we have DRS. Yes, we do. How do they have so much more? Oh yeah, my engine's worn out. I forgot about that part. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is not the race for a worn engine. And we hold them off. Okay. But uh, I don't think we're making any passes today. Oh my god. I don't think we're making any passes today, lads. It's uh, this is gonna be a struggle. Oh my goodness. I have no. Oh my. All right. Well, we're switching out the ICE next race because we're in, we're in struggle mode now. I'm actually gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm blocking the outside. Sorry, Raikkonen. That was a dangerous block. Oh my god. I wanted to see if I could just hold on the outside and run the top, but uh, Raikkonen almost <laughs> shove his nose in there. That's kind of a dangerous block for me. I will admit. All right. Uh, this is where we have no chance. I mean, I'm just a sitting duck. Uh, it's Oh, man. There's nothing I can do. Alright, where are you going to go? He's going to the outside. We just... Ah, man. We're going to lose one spot a lap. That's basically what's going to happen. You know, we're not that bad throughout the entire circuit. I'm actually pretty quick, you know, in the corners. But with this ICE problem, we're... Uh... And it, that sucks because we weren't struggling down the straights in practice. I think, you know, the more practice laps you put on, the more wear you put on all your engine components and... Uh, that's that's part of it. So we have to replace that for the next race. But honestly, especially as the AI's tires wear, you know, because they're all on softs, we're not that bad. I mean, that was a terrible, terrible hairpin. But we're pretty good. I'm actually really happy. We're still. I mean, I'm still running P13 from from everything that happened on the first lap. So you know, yeah, I feel like we've been passed by a lot of guys, but we're actually doing very well. Whoa, where'd the Ferrari come from? Oh my god. Oh, he pitted. Okay. <laughs> I just looked behind me and I saw a random Ferrari. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, so. That's good news there that Vettel is pitted. And uh, we are actually were in front of him. That's the first time this happened this season where we've been able to uh, cover the delta of a Ferrari pit stop. And he goes on his way. Uh, look how fast that car is. And here comes Romain Grosjean. This is a fight that we have to try. We're going to have DRS, but I mean... There's really no hope here, even our own teammate. You can tell our teammate is that fast too, so which means we, we definitely have a, um, an ICE problem. Grosjean will make a mistake somewhere. And we're not we're not that much slower than the Haas, so if I could... Oh my god. And this is why I make the mistake. I, w I was trying to say I wouldn't make the mistake. Damn it. No, I'm taking that spot back. Sorry. See you later, Mick. Oh, Grosjean comes down pit road. We continue. Shumi's in pit road. I actually have no idea what pit road's like. I didn't really practice going into pit road, so that's going to be something that's going to be fun, knowing where the hell the pit line, uh, pit road limiter is and all that. That's going to be great. Well, we have a car right to our outside coming out of the pits. I don't know who it is. It's Leclerc. Sorry, Ferrari. I know I'm probably messing up your race. They're gonna get, you're going to get right by me anyways down this straightaway right here. So there he goes. Man, I wish I had that kind of engine power. Oh, my God. Look at that. Incredible. We're actually going back at Leclerc. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait, why are we making contact? I'm sorry, Leclerc, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Just go, just go. I'm, I know, I'm throwing my hand up. I'm trying to tell you to go. You're going to cost me a position of Magnuson. <sighs> we stay in the DRS. Oh, we have no chance. Oh, we don't even have DRS. Okay, that's great. Yay, back we go. We're coming down uh, to box this time by, so. Oh, thank God for the line. I know, okay, there we go. Down pit road. There we go. Oh crap, Leclerc's coming down pit road too. Oh no, I must have damaged his front wing. Oh no, I ruined Leclerc's race. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. You know, I just had a good run, you know, the racer and me, I wanted to make I wanted to try to make the pass, then he would go around me again. That was I, I feel bad. I'm sorry, Charles. I'm sorry. I love you. Come down pit road. 2.4 second stop. Right behind Magnuson. We should be able to just boom. Look after these tires now. We want to the race I don't know the exit to this pits. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's not bad. All right, let's stay up here. It's actually a cool pit road. Okay, I like that. Let's go. Ah, uh, we come out P17 though. Yeah, that's not very good. The good news is we do have soft tires, 
and we have a few guys right in front of us that maybe we can make a pass on. The only problem is that lack of horsepower, you know, we're, we're going to be struggling here. It looks like Russell is in 14th, looking at the mini-map. Uh, and then we have Perez, Magnus, and Latifi, and Leclerc. Leclerc is probably going to come back right at us, so we're going to be like P18, because he's going he's gonna to pass us with that new front wing. So, uh, we, have, we have some work to do. We've lost a lot of spots during this race. We have an angry Ferrari behind us. I'm going to try to hold him off as long as I can as we try to catch up to Magnus and all these guys. We're on soft tires. Come on. If we could just pass one of them, we could start getting the roll on and pass all of them. Honestly, it'd probably be a better idea just to let Leclerc go because he might be able to handle them a little bit. I'm going to put it in lean and save some fuel while he goes on his way to pass this group of cars. I'm not making the same mistake I made before. We're just going to stay behind him. And let's get a good run out of there. That's a terrible run. Put it back into Rich. We should have DRS, hopefully. And uh, let's let, them, let him do the work. And that's what I was talking about. Leclerc on the outside. Ah, I couldn't make the move. We're going to have to stay behind Magnuson for another lap. Damn it. There's someone slow holding up this entire pack. I can't tell who it is, but we're going to make a move on Kevin. And barge our way through. That's one spot. All right, there we go. Now we just need Leclerc to get to work. Come on, Leclerc. He's going to the outside of George Russell. That's going to help us. Come on. Let's follow suit. Come on, come on, come on. No, we're going to have to wait. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get a good run through here. Put it into Rich. DRS. Do I have enough engine power in here? No, we do not. Make him maybe dive bomb it. Heck with us. I'm dive bombing it. What a move! Haha, <laughs> it worked! I can't believe that. Oh good, we have enough of a gap too behind us so that Russell's not going to attack us again. We stay in rich. We're up to P16. I think Schumacher's ahead of us. So Schumi's having a good run. And Leclerc's going after Perez and probably our teammate as well. We're going to be able to get a great run here. Go down to first gear. Schumi's getting past. No, he defends! Go Schumi! I'm so proud of you! I can make that same move on Leclerc right here. Oh, it didn't work this time. It worked on Magnuson. It didn't work on Leclerc. All right, we stay back behind him. And we just need him to get to work. Come on, Leclerc. Pass Perez, please. All right, I think Leclerc is going to get around Perez here. He should, at least. But he doesn't even have a run. They're still trying to attack Schumacher. Schumacher's holding both of them up. And it looks like Perez is going to get around. No, he's not. We're going to go on the inside of Leclerc. Side by side. All right, Leclerc gets the better of that. But we have a pretty decent slipstream here. Perez got... Oh, God! That was almost going to be a massive wreck. All right, we're going to have to drive a deep... Oh, there goes Schumacher on Perez. Leclerc's going in. We're going in. Everyone's locking up. Of fuel left. And we just barge Leclerc out of the way somehow. Oh my goodness me, I can't believe this. Come on, Schumacher, keep holding up Perez. Come on, Schumi. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh man, they're going side by side. What a battle. What a battle between those two. Come on, Schumi. You can do it. Oh god, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there, buddy. Come on. Nah, he lost it. Alright, Schumi, get out of my way. I'll, I'll go attack Perez. Sorry for the little bit of contact there. Uh, two laps to go. We're running P14. But Leclerc is right behind us. He's going to get around us. Our focus right now is on Sergio Perez. And I'm trying to make a move. Let's actually just stay right here. Get that kind of straight line off. We, we're going to have DRS. He does not have DRS. Leclerc is going to get around us. But actually, let's just maybe use Leclerc here. You want to go? I was, I was trying to let you go so I could maybe get a slipstream. All right, well, that's not going to work. Leclerc is still behind us. I'm gaining no time on Perez. Oh, my God. I had it completely locked up trying to avoid him. I think I might have front wing damage. No, we don't. Okay, that's honestly kind of surprising. Well, can we hold off Leclerc for one lap? I, uh, I don't think so. There he goes to the bottom. We can actually fight that maybe. Oh my god. No, come back here, Charles. 
Oh, we fought it! <laughs> I'm just sticking my car in the stupidest places trying to defend this Ferrari. And he's probably not very happy at the moment. And we got the RS from that. That's incredible. Okay, let's go back into standard. Yeah, yeah. Engineer, shut up, Jeff. Be quiet, please. I'm trying to focus. Come on. Alright, got a good run through there. He's pretty far back. But he's not going to be far back much longer. Lewis Hamilton wins the race. Here comes a very angry Ferrari. Block. <laughs> I'm trying to block. Oh, there he goes. No. We're going to make a move on the... No, no. Go to the outside. Eh. Yeah. Oh, no. There's no way. Okay. All right. Well, we tried. Honestly, I say it's a valiant effort. It's going to be a P15 finish. I would have, I guess, you know, we qualified P19 up to P15. Not terrible. I will take it. Um, I always had a lot of work to do. The ICE really caused us a lot of trouble this whole race. And that's, I mean, I honestly think we got made a few passes if it wasn't for that problem. But uh, once we got that problem early on in the race, it was screwed from that point on. I mean, you guys could see, let's go, yes, yeah, 69%. Hey, nice. But, um, yeah, that's, that's it for that. We'll take home a P15 finish. We'll replace the IC for the next race, That's the end of the race. We'll and try to get it going again. Um, yeah, that was a bit, that was a little bit difficult there. Antonio Antonio Giovinazzi driver of the day. Where did he fit? I know he he passed us pretty early on, so he must have been pretty far up there uh, with Lewis Hamilton winning the race. All right, here are the standings for the race: Hamilton, Verstappen, Vettel, Mercedes, Red Bull, Ferrari, one, two, three, Albon, fourth, Bat Botas, fifth. Ocon in 6th, Lando Norris 7th, Stroll in 8th, Antonio with a great run, 17th to 9th uh, for Alfa Romeo, great run, Raikkonen also in 11th, they were fast, the, the, the Alfa Romeo was fast this weekend, McLaren uh, with signs in 10th, Grosjean in 12th, Perez, Leclerc, us, uh, Haas in, with Magnussen, then Schumacher, Russell, Latifi, Gasly, Kafia, and Ricardo. If we go look at the driver standings, a lot of things have changed here. So Vettel is now on top because Leclerc's terrible race. Thanks in part due to me. <laughs> That's my fault. Uh, Hamilton, who was back in like seventh or something, is now all the way leapfrogged up to third with his win. He's only 10 points back. Botas in fourth. But as you can see in the constructor standings, Ferrari has the edge over Mercedes, uh, with them being 1-2 and Mercedes being 3-4. Verstappen and Albon, not too far back. They're only 16 and 18 points back after three races. Ocon, Sainz, Perez, and Norris. So the midfield battle right there between Renault, McLaren, and Racing Point is pretty strong there. Uh, then you have the Alfa Romeos both scoring four points there, so they're in 13th to 14th. Uh, and then all of us down here, Haas, F, uh, Hendrick, F1, and Williams all scoring no points. We're hoping, I'm hoping to get to Monaco and change that. That's going to be the one race where I feel like we can maybe do something. But we have to upgrade our, our chassis system uh, if we want to stand a chance, to be honest. Yeah, we did, but, uh, oh man, I want to unlock that. Why can't I unlock that aero package thing? Oh, I think it's weird the marketing area. I would say, you know... The car was actually sticking to the track fairly well. Really, the power department's where we, where we struggled. Uh, I'm just going to say that would be telling. I don't want to really answer that question. Yes, I do. Um, well, uh, they're making me... They're making me try... To, you know, no comment. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to comment on uh, any of my departments to lower their morale, so... You're not getting me. You're not getting me, baby. Don't don't try that. I think I saw one of our parts failed. Um, yeah. Oh, no, not in the chassis. No. All right, so we have a part failed here. Um, we're going to try and put that right back in. Let's develop that. Uh, 14th of April. What day are we on? We are on the 6th of April, so that actually they will, that will come in before the Chinese Grand Prix, so yeah, let's go do that. We have to upgrade our durability. I mean, that um, that race showed we were struggling there, so we're going to... Yeah, even, the, even the recommended upgrade is, develop, is uh, for durability, so we're going to go put some uh, resource points into that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty bad. Alfa Romeo is top actually in durability. That's incredible. Um, that's all we could do for now. So we still have that chassis upgrade coming in. The aero upgrades are being worked on. They're both in development. So we're trying to continue to build that area. Powertrain, we're going to have to get in there soon. Um, but we, we have a lot of other parts of the car to work on. 2.2 million in the bank. 
Uh, so we can upgrade the facilities actually. I'm gonna keep working on that chassis area while we're here. So I'm actually going to improve the resource points. I know probably I would wanna decrease the failure rate, but let's actually go improve the resource points. And we're gonna put 2 million into the bank for that. So we are spending the money trying to get uh, better as quick as possible. Uh, so that should be coming in and then the activities I will do in the start of the next episode of this series We'll try to fill that out. We have an invitational event uh, but I think it was one of, the, one of those uh, quick races with the classic cars before we head off to the next race Which is the Chinese Grand Prix. I think China has been notorious for being a hard track on this game So uh, with the straightaway speed that we're gonna have to deal with we're gonna have to replace um, the ICE as well So actually I'm gonna do that right now. We're going to uh, number two there after just three races of the season probably not ideal to be doing that right now But it is something that we had to do and that is it for this one guys. I will see you guys later We will start off the next uh, part of this career just with an overview of everything going from R&D uh, the invitational event and some of the um, Changes going on here if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video comment down below and please hit that like button It really helps me out follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already is at real the links are in the description below And I will see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day and take care of yourselves. Peace out